My boyfriend confessed to me that he's attracted to my best friend. Should I leave him? Disclaimer is not my story. Thomas, send me an Instagram. I know you guys are gonna all say yes immediately, but hear me out. My boyfriend and I have been dating for six months. My best friend and I actually met him at a bar. That night, I never expected that he would ever come after me. I consider my best friend the prettier of the two of us, so I'm used to her getting hit on instead of me. But that night, my boyfriend came to me. He talked to me pretty much the entire night, and my best friend told me to go for it. So I did. He and I spent the night together, and after that, we were inseparable. To the point where he wanted me to move in with him after two months. My parents thought I was absolutely crazy and they didn't want me to move in with him, but I did anyway. I come from a Latino family, so this was absolutely reprehensible. I went against my family family's wishes and they actually stopped speaking to me for a little bit but luckily i got them back my boyfriend during that time gave me all his support he told me that my family would come around eventually and that they would see that we were in love so living together was a logical next step after three months of living together i knew that i wanted to marry him and he would talk about marriage all the time he asked me what kind of ring i would want and what i would want for the proposal we even started talking about our honeymoon i was also starting to get in the best shape of my life i was looking super snatched my boyfriend told me that he loved the way that i look but that he didn't want me to get skinny again i just felt like he was supporting me and loving me around this time my best friend started dating somebody after a few weeks they got really serious about the relationship and of course we went on double dates after the third double date i noticed that my boyfriend was getting a little annoyed i got the feeling he was jealous of my best friend's boyfriend follow for part two my, boy my boyfriend confessed to me that he's attracted to my best friend should i leave him disclaimer is not my story time i send me on instagram i asked him if he was jealous of my best friend's boyfriend and that's when he said no but every time we would go on double dates he would get in such a bad mood three weeks ago my best friend told me that she was moving in with her boyfriend and when i told my boyfriend that they were moving in his face almost went green i asked him what was wrong and he said nothing after that he went into the bathroom and didn't come out for 40 minutes again i asked him if he was okay and he said yeah and i sat him down and asked him to be honest with me that's when he said i'm attracted to your best friend instantly started to cry because i had already been suspecting it he explained to me that he didn't have any feelings for her until she got a boyfriend and that he felt that he had some sort of ownership over her before my best friend got a boyfriend the three of us would hang out a lot and not once then did i ever get a feeling that he was attracted to her he told me that he would never act on his feelings but he didn't want to go on any more double dates i asked him if he wanted to be with her instead of me and he said absolutely not he said that i was the love of his life and that attraction only meant attraction that he didn't have feelings for her a few days later he took me to the most expensive restaurant in our city and asked me to marry him but i didn't know what to say I can't stop thinking that he's attracted to my best friend part three is up my boy boyfriend confessed to me that he's attracted to my best friend what should i do just is not my story time was sending me on instagram after he proposed i told him i didn't know what to say he told me to think it over I finally decided to tell my best friend what my boyfriend had told me but he had confessed that he was attracted to her first she laughed I told her no i'm serious he confessed that he's attracted to you that's when she told me i needed to break up with him that's when i told her that he had also proposed and she said well then you really need to break up with him now that's when she told me that she didn't want me to resent her and that it was completely out of her control and I didn't. I promised her that I would never resent her for my boyfriend being attracted to her. It's not like she ever did anything on purpose to make him feel attracted. She also told me that marrying him right now would be rushing into it. And she's kind of right. We've only really known each other for six months. Then she told me that she's never gotten the feeling that he's attracted to her. She's never caught him looking at her or anything like that. So now her theory is that he's looking for an easy way out. And that he probably wants me to break up with him. But my boyfriend is still sweet and super affectionate. He's constantly showering me with love. My best friend thinks that if I stay with him, our relationship will suffer. I've known my best friend longer. What should I do? Bro, this lady is absolutely crazy. So I've been having stomach issues or whatever. So my doctor referred me to a GI specialist. I don't know about you, but when I get a call from an unknown number, I'm not going to tell them who I am. So this person calls me and is like, is this Evelyn Juarez? I'm like, excuse me, who is this? I gotta protect my identity. I don't know if you're debt collectors or somebody trying to steal my 401k. She ignores my question about who she is and keeps asking if I'm Evelyn Juarez. You're wasting my unlimited minutes. Bleep, I hanged up. She calls back again. Oh, who is coming after me? Is this Evelyn Juarez? We're calling with a referral that your doctor sent out. Oh, yeah, like the GI specialist. Yes, this is me, Evelyn. She's like, well, why do you keep hanging up on me? Because you wasn't explaining yourself, sis. I can't just confirm. She's like, well, if you would have let me talk. But you had your chance. You were talking and you didn't say nothing. Whatever. Do you want the appointment or not? Me and my stomach issues are good. Because if the doctor is anything like you, I ain't trying to go there. I'm going to come out with a missing liver and kidney. Like, yes, I would like to make the appointment. But is there anybody else I could talk to that is a little bit less hostile? I'm the office coordinator. So the only one above me is the doctor. Bueno, como tú eres la coordinadora, yo no quiero hablar ni contigo ni con tu mamá. How about I coordinate my way out of this call because I don't want nothing to do with you. You hear me? Well, in that case, I'm going to have to make an appointment somewhere else because the way you're talking to me is not okay. She could have kept it like that professional one, but like, okay, have a good day. But no, she was like, please do. I guess we'll never know if the GI specialist Jason Martin is a good doctor or not. I wouldn't recommend going here. I don't want you to get yelled at. You know what I mean? I'll update you if I find a better GI specialist and fix my stomach issues. <laughs> 
Am I wrong for leaving the hospital after my husband called for his mom instead of me? My husband, 31, was in the hospital for a surgery that involved anesthesia. His mom came to wait with me there but didn't speak to me because we have been having some minor disagreements. Hours after the surgery, we were told only one person goes into the room for the day since he was still under anesthesia. From what I understand, he woke up calling for his mom. The nurse asked for his mom to go in and she did. I was irritated and felt like all the waiting and stressing out got ignored. The nurse told me that he was not fully awake and was repeatedly calling for his mom spontaneously. She was basically hinting that I shouldn't get worked up over a natural reaction from my husband, but I couldn't help feel irked. I wanted to go home, so I left 10 minutes later. His mom called saying she got out of the room after I left so I could get some time with him, but instead I couldn't wait and went home. She said this was not okay and I flew off the handle for no reason. I said that her son acted like I wasn't there, but she said that he cannot be blamed for something he can't control. And I'm just being unfair to him and putting blame on him because of a disagreement between her and I. I cut the conversation short after I sensed that she somehow blamed me for being unacknowledged and ignored. Her husband texted later saying I'm being hostile over nothing and that I should focus on my husband's health instead of acting petty, but I don't think I did anything that qualifies as petty. Story time about how my bank might have ruined my chances of going to an Olivia Rodrigo concert. So a little background information, in December I got tickets to Olivia's concert. I thought it would be the perfect Christmas gift for my sister and I to go to California and go to her concert and I got two floor seats. So I was super excited when I gave her the tickets. We were both like screaming, you know, that we were gonna be going to a concert. We had the best seats. Well, knowing that I had the tickets, I hadn't checked on them for a few months. And this concert is on May 20th of 2022. Well, a few days ago, I was going on Ticketmaster to check the tickets and it said that they had been voided and I had no idea why. So I was frantically trying to figure out what had happened to my tickets. And I didn't want my sister thinking, oh my god, like she really didn't get the tickets. So I was sending emails with Ticketmaster, and they said that somebody had filed a dispute. If you don't know what that means, that means somebody was like, hey, that's my money, I'm taking it back. Like for part two. Part two about why I might not be allowed to go to an Olivia Rodrigo concert. So like I said, pretty much somebody was like, hey, I want my money back, and the tickets were no longer there. Mind you, I was already charged in December, and now it's April. So I call my bank and I'm like, hey, like, what's going on? My money is missing. Um, these people say they don't have it, aka Ticketmaster. And they're like, oh my god, like, we're so sorry. We thought that it was like a fraudulent charge, so we just disputed it. So now, of course, I'm extremely pissed off and upset. So then when they realized, they were like, okay, we'll give the money back to them. That's completely fine. And then I called Ticketmaster and I talked to somebody. They said, that's fine. Just let them know at the door that there was a mix-up. And I'm like, okay, but they're not just going to believe me, so can you send me an email saying that's what happened? And right after that, they hung up the call, and I've been trying to get a hold of Ticketmaster ever since, and they haven't been answering. So go check your tickets, and please tag Ticketmaster.